Hey guys, it's Amanda and I'm here to bring you a little combo platter. I'm going to do day um, five, six, and seven all together. And here's why. This is just an end of re week one recap. I uh, work three 12 hour, actually four 12 hour shifts. So you can see my eyes probably, I'm a little tired. I'm just coming off of um, the second of the four. And so I'm just gonna combine these last few days and then I'll give you an update on day one of week two here in a couple days on how the end of the week went and any changes. But right now I am on day five. Let's see, I'm on the morning of day six. And so I'm just wrapping up the week. I'm repeating a couple lunches. Um, I can just show you here. This is the guidebook you get when you sign up for the Ultimate Reset and you purchase it. And it has like all the recipes in here. They have pictures and they have, uh, you see I have bookmarks on what I'm getting ready to cook. I've been sharing the pictures along the way on my Facebook, my Instagram, you can check them there. And um, you know, some of the things I wanna repeat more than I did, but I also want to experience it the way it's meant to be. And that means that even though I've done this program before in 2014, at the end of my one year anniversary from losing my 90 pounds or so I had lost by then, um, my palate might be different now than it was then. And this is a great way to experience different foods. There's things that I might not have looked liked cooked one way, but I like another way or things I didn't like a few years ago. Another cool thing that's happening is now, let's see, day six, I'm getting, all, um, I've got several messages from people just telling me that I'm glowing and that my skin looks like younger and dewier and that is the only thing I've changed. Like I haven't showered since work. I haven't even put on moisturizer. It's really, it's a hot mess. That's why the hat's on. And I can tell you right now that I haven't done anything better or different to take care of myself, unfortunately. I had a whole list I was gonna make if you've been watching these daily vlogs of things I was gonna do for self-care like taking a, getting a facial or taking getting a pedicure or whatever I haven't done any of those <laughs> what do you do but I'm doing my best and I'm sticking with the program I have noticed that um, I've had some really intense like cravings for sugar the last couple of days so I'm not looking forward to fighting that battle I hope it doesn't last all 21 days I know that I have to stay strong because if I let myself down even a little bit, it's going to be rough. So to me, sugar is like a gateway drug or like chapstick or the chiropractor. <laughs> if you go once, you know what you're missing and then you can't stop thinking about it and you're using it all the time. But if you don't, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. So I'm really going to try and stay strong and leave that out of my life. Um, also right now I'm running a free crock pot group and I'm putting all these delicious savory recipes on there and then I'm making them for my family at the same time so smelling all those while not eating meat is difficult and so I'm trying to stay strong for that as well I did do yoga day one two and three and then I found that yesterday and today I know I'm getting ready to go to bed here and I won't have time so um, I wanted to do seven days for all seven days but when it comes to the little sleep I get between working this night shift in the hospital and then coming home being mom to my kid all day, my kids uh, all day, and then getting my food ready, and then as soon as I have a sitter or some childcare help or my husband's home from work, I am down for the count and I take a nap, which usually ends up being two to three hours of sleep. So this is an interesting program to do from the perspective of somebody working night shift or someone who can't sleep. It's a huge element of your physical health overall is sleep and it is not designed for someone who works nights and it is not designed for someone who works lots of hours with very little sleep. So I am really trying to maximize sleep on the days I have it um, and naps on my days off if I can and really do those things that try and improve my sleep average overall. I'm tracking that with my Fitbit so we'll be able to see at the end if I've improved my sleep at all. I can't wait. And um, I guess that's it. <clears throat> that's all I wanted to share with you. And you know, I'll post at the end of here when I'm done yammering my mouth, I'll post my um, videos from my stories on Instagram so you can follow along with the day by day because I am doing those as I go too. So I'll just condense them all and throw them on the end of this video for you and you can get caught up on day five, six, and seven with me. The next vlog I do will be day eight 
which is the first day of week two. Um, phase one, the first week, has been all about getting your body prepared to make changes. And week two is going to be my favorite because while week one is the reclaim store where you, stage where you kind of reclaim your body state and um, take charge of your food again and your nutrition as a whole, you start weaning out animal products. By week two, which is day eight through 15, um, you are completely vegan and weaning off of grains for the most part. Um, you have no more animal products, no more dairy. So a bunch of inflammatory foods that cause people with autoimmune issues and all these other allergic reactions and sensitivities, those are eliminated, which is the best part of this program is finding out afterwards how your body functions once you've removed those things and then the week Four, which everyone says is the week, a three week program, but week four, you slowly start adding those things back in and seeing how your body acclimates to them and if they really, if it really is sensitive or not. So I'm super excited for that. And um, yeah, I'm just excited for the food that week too. A bunch of new things that I haven't had or didn't have before I'd ever done the reset and just overall feeling better and healthier. I'm still waiting for that, um, doo -doo -doo, that ditzy like, uh, I can't think, I can't concentrate, dumb blondish thing that I had the first time I did this a couple years ago. And I don't feel like I've hit that yet. Yes, I'm a sleep deprived and a little forgetful, but I'm always that way, <laughs> just being honest. So I don't feel like it's any worse than usual yet. I'm excited to see how it goes. Oh, and I will let you know. <laughs> okay, check out the stories after this. If you need help, uh, email me, amandanoddings at me drop me a comment on this video, check me out on the Instagram, social media, subscribe to my channel to watch all these blogs. You know the drill. And I look forward to sharing the rest of the journey with you guys. I love you. Thanks for showing up. And I'm here to help in any way I can. Talk to you soon. Bye. I've decided the secret to drinking this nastiness here, I figured out at work, is to do it with water and a straw <laughs> a straw man it makes me chug it so i don't have to taste all the nasty nutrition what are you doing nothing do you want some of this you wanted your own little bowl yes what is it quinoa quinoa uh -huh. you like it uh -huh. yeah that's supposed to be for my dinner <laughs> this is me not caring what my neighbors think of <laughs> my outfit when i go get the mail <laughs> Gotta love it. Hello, Lula leggings. <laughs> Good night. See you tomorrow for day six. So I just dropped my son off at preschool and I'm going to try and do something that I have not done yet since he started school. And I have not done in seven years. And that is take a nap in a quiet house by myself. And I should also probably admit that <laughs> I'm cheating. This is a big fat spoonful of almond butter. And I'm eating it. So I just dropped my son off at preschool and I'm going to try and do something that I have not done yet since he started school. And I have not done in seven years. And that is take a nap in a quiet house by myself. And I should also probably admit that <laughs> I'm cheating. This is a big fat spoonful of almond butter. And I'm eating it. So we're right into day seven and it's the last day of Ultimate Reset Week 1 phase, so I'm going to be doing my video about that tomorrow as I recap the week or the night, maybe tonight, and I've got my vegan vanilla. I also have like 500 other projects going on. For instance, I just put my shower head to soak in a bath of vinegar and warm water to see if it will get the calcium hard lime off it. I'm about to do some roasted root veggies in the oven here. As you can see, I'm still freezing, hence my husband's giant bathrobe on me at all times in my house. I just finished doing these pumpkin seeds in the oven and roasting them. Those will go on my salads and be little snacks. And, oh, I need to get my yoga in.